Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna, also known as B Taylor Beauty, and welcome like i don't know what to say i haven't been here for a while so if you are new make sure you subscribe because i'm coming back with the videos i know i say that all the time but i'm for real this time so i've been going for a second I just want to get right into the video i'm going to do a talk through we're going to be playing with some new makeup recently i went to beautycon new york i had a blast i'll talk about that while we're doing our makeup and stuff so yeah we're just gonna hop into some products that i bought myself that i received in my goodie bag from beautycon and that i've been collecting for a while and i just you know haven't touched i don't really have like a specific look i'm going for we just kind of gonna go with the flow um so yeah so how are you guys doing like recently I recently graduated from college. Um, I was going to a community college. I graduated. And yeah, I kind of been in a funk. We'll talk about that later. But yeah. anyway, so I'm going to take these milk makeup products. I got this one from BeautyCon and I just bought this from um, Sephora like literally yesterday. So. At BeautyCon, they had like a milk makeup booth where um, they'll like put some milk makeup products on you and stuff like that. By the way, this is the cooling water. It's like a moisturizer and it's like so, it's literally cooling. It feels like water on your face. It, it feels so good. So I'm going to use this to moisturize because I haven't moisturized. But yeah, they had like a milk makeup booth where they would put... You know some products on your face and then you would do like a photo shoot and basically you signed a form to allow them to use your pictures for advertising if they choose to so that was cool I have like my pictures I'll try to insert it here somewhere if I can remember so yeah that was that was a pretty cool um I didn't really like my pictures but whatever I doubt they'll use mines you know but that's besides the point so recently I've been a little sick so my eyes are red um, because I haven't worn my contacts in a while and they're like my eyes are freaking out like what the heck are these but I also got this from Beautycon this is the pure miracle mist is highest is a hydrating and setting spray and I'm just gonna use this and this big thing was $11 pure head probably one of the best sales at Beautycon they probably had one of the best sales I mean it was 40% off everything so you know you know you know you know I stocked up Elf Aqua Primer Mist threw the box away, but I haven't used it. Ooh. Do y'all see that? This spray's a little too forceful. Ooh. This spray's a little too forcefully. Ooh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. This is a no for me. Just because of the sprayer. Like, the spray just sprays way too violently. Um, but yeah, Beauty Con was super fun. It was, like, very different from the last time I went. I think the last time I went was in 2015. And, you know, like, technology has come up from then. So, literally, like, they had a beauty con app. It was, like, way more organized, I feel like. So, you could, like, use... Um, you could, like, go cashless. I'm trying to open this blurring stick from Milk. Because I want to use this. You can go cashless and... Like, there was a wristband that you had to use to get in, of course. And you could connect your debit card to it. So, literally, like, it was just so cool. Um, they told you, you know, who was going to be where at what time. I'm just going to prime with this makeup. Look makeup blurring stick. And when they showed me this at the... 
milk for makeup boots. I was shook because this crap. It really works. To me it does, at least. Okay. Anyway. I think I'm gonna do brows, not less, but I'm gonna do my face first just to switch things up. I'm gonna be using one of my favorite foundations. I have like every color of this in my kit. I have this one, which is the Even True Flawless Skin Liquid Makeup by Black Opal, and I have the um, True Color line in my kit as well. I'm gonna color correct using my elf color correcting stick and I just placed a pretty, I wouldn't say big, but placed a nice size border on elf today. Um, it's Memorial Day weekend, it's Memorial Day now. So you know everyone's having their selves. So I made sure I got up on that elf sale because elf always does 50% off on like huge holidays. So I got up on that sale and I really wanted to try their foundation. So I made sure I got their foundation. Right? So let's see. This should be a good color. This is in the color, I think it's Truly Topaz, yes. And this is, well this is beautiful bronze, but that's still a little dark for me. So Truly Topaz should be good. And plus it oxidizes too, that's what I always tell people about this foundation. It oxidizes, so... Like, you should be good. Even if you think your color is a little off, you still should be good. So actually, I'm going to cream contour first. I'm using this um, cover click stick. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to go into something like this is a, you know, like a replacement. It's supposed to go into like some type of contraction. But, I didn't get all of that. I just got it like this. And I'm just going to be about it. Don't talk about it, just fight about it. Don't string shot it, just fight about it. Don't fuck the bullshit, fuck rap. You guys barely see me cream contour, but girl is on her. I'm sure right now, and I'm holding all this water weight, so I feel like I look a little bloated, you know? What I'm saying? So I can use the extra chiseling, you know? Because I feel like I'm looking a little chub chubs. But yeah, guys, so I don't know. I want to talk about oh, how I've been in a funk lately. So I mentioned earlier that I've been in a funk. I graduated. And ever since I graduated, I've been in a funk. And it's mostly my fault because I don't know why and I don't know if this is just me but I was thinking like okay graduation equals like a dream job I'm going to be happy I don't have to be at this you know stupid dead end job anymore etc etc but 
I, I feel like I'm just too hard on myself. Like, some people are like, give yourself some time. I just might have to take this content out. Give yourself some time. Like, you literally just graduated. Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, yeah, I know. I just graduated. Like, that's the point, you know. They always make it seem like, okay, when you graduate, get your degree. Things change so drastically, you know? And I'm just taking my beauty blender and blending everything out. And I wish they would stop, like, depicting life like that because it's definitely... Uh, my God, look, I got pink eyes. Fake niggas be doing shit that we did first and then rap about it. Take the shit that we wear and all of our slang and say Yeah, but it definitely, definitely doesn't work like that. It definitely doesn't work like that. And me of all people, because I, I like to think that I think pretty rationally for my age. But yeah, like I was saying. I don't know. So, if you follow me on like Snapchat or any of my, mostly Snapchat, um, you guys know what I do. My job isn't like you know awesome, but it isn't like a laborious job either. I work at a parking garage. I have a cake in the oven, so I'm hoping I, I don't forget, but. I work at a parking garage. This is just my NARS. Can you read it? I work at a parking garage, like in a condo. So basically, that's where the residents that live there, that's where they park their car. And the thing I don't really like about it is the hours because it's an overnight job. And I solely got the job because of my schedule with school and freelancing and stuff and people are like well why can't you just switch your shift it doesn't work like that in that job like it's such a you have to think like it's a condominium so literally like only I think it's 20 employees are there and they have the morning, which is 8 to 4. And then they have the 4 to 12, and then 12 to 8 employees. And we're full-time. We work Monday through Friday during those shifts. And then we have the part-time. Usually, like, full-time and part-time is the amount of hours you work. What's wrong? But full-time and part-time at their job, when you're part-time, you only work weekends and holidays because full-time employees, we don't work holidays. So that's how that works at that job. So, the problem I have is with the hours and the people that have been working there have been working there for years and you know how people are they're not going to want to you know change their shift just for like some new girl i've only been working there for a year and it's mostly older folks that work there that's retired or whatever so they just needed like a little side easy job which is that because the job is super easy you don't have to do anything um but yeah that's just my problem like I don't have a problem with the job, but like I said, the job is easy. It's the hours, and it's like, at first it's like, whoa, I got this easy job getting paid to do nothing. Um, but then it's like, like, I feel like I'm just sitting here and I'm wasting my smarts. Like, I would like a job that, you know, challenges me to think at least that job. You just really need to know how to read and write for that job. Like, honestly, it's that easy because you just have to, like, fill out a log saying that you check the area for cleanliness every two hours. And all you have to do is maybe put yes, 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 2, 4, 6, 8 p.m. or a.m. or whatever, and then sign your initials. That's it. So, it doesn't really challenge you to think, you know, you are not solving any problems. Like, as if I was somewhere else doing, like, an actual job. 
Not saying that this job isn't a job, but it's just levels to certain things. I hope I'm not seeming like I'm grateful or anything because I'm definitely not. It's just I like to use my brain sometimes. Sometimes I'm lazy and sometimes I don't want to use my brain. In that case, where the job like comes in handy, like sometimes I'm super tired. <laughs> and I don't feel like having to really do anything. It comes in handy for that. But at times, like, I'll be super bored. Like, it's nothing to do. And there's mostly older people that live there, retired. So between the hours of 12 to 8, like, I'm literally not seeing anyone. It's literally a ghost town. That's just, that's just how I'm feeling. And I... I don't know. I don't want to talk about it and it sounds like I'm ungrateful because I'm not. Like, I could not have a job. I'm just not as happy that I know I could be. Because sometimes that frustra it frustrates me. And also, it's like, I see so many people um, getting, like, these awesome opportunities. And it's like, they don't even put in half the work that I put in. Do you ever feel like that? And it's like, no shade to the person because God has a plan for everyone. And God has a different route for everyone. And God wants us to achieve things a different way. He has a story for everyone. You know, everyone's story can't be like, you know, you can't achieve something by going linear. Some people can just take this straight route and they're good but not all people get through life like that so i don't know sometimes i just feel a little down about it so recently i just took like literally well, i was sick so i took like four days off plus memorial day i already had that day off i'm just trying to get my sasha buttercup did you know this comes in light? They have a Sasha. They have a Sasha Buttercup light. I had no idea. But I was just on the website today to see if they had any Memorial Day sales. And they have a light. I, I did not know. Or her. So, that was super good. Put that over there. So, for my eyeshadow. I think I'm going to use this new Juvia's Place blush palette. This is the Saharan Blush Volume 1. I have both, actually. And I actually have, I actually have two more that I want to give away to you guys. So stay tuned to the end of the video. And there'll be details down below. Uh, um, on how to enter to win one or the other. I'm going to give away both, not to the same person. So it's going to be two winners. So I'll have all the information down below. I did just want to show you guys um, what it what it looks like and how you could possibly use it. Because even though it's a blush palette, um, they say on the website specifically that you can use it as a blush palette and eyeshadow so yeah so now onto the eyeshadow that took forever i'm going to use actually i'm going to use both of these palettes because i think i want to go into this these two colors here oh can you see these two colors here um i'm going to use tau it's like a coral ish color and i'm going to put that <clears throat> in my crease I'm going for like an orange-ish look. At least that's what I have in my head, but. Whoa. This crap, let me zoom y'all in. This crap is pig. They were not lying on their website. Oh my God, look at this. Pigmented, y'all. Do 
Juvies, please. Like, seriously. Honestly. Oh, and this color is beautiful, too. I didn't even have to do anything. So I was tickling my lip. You don't even have to do much. These aren't even shadows. That's the crazy part. I was going to say, you don't even have to do much with these shadows. But these aren't even shadows. But you don't even have to do much with these. They kind of blend out on their own. So I just wanted a little bit of that. Now I'm going to take a, another fluffy brush and this is a Morphe M513 and I'm going to go into we're still in the volume 2 this is like the lighter one I'm going to go into this color here and this is called Yara And I'm going to put that in the crease as well. So I kind of have like this, oh my god, this is beautiful. I kind of have like this sunset-ish looking situation going on. I'm going to go into volume one. And I'm going to take Neo. And there's this color right here. It's kind of like somewhat of a burgundy. But then again, it ain't. I'm gonna take like this flat blending brush. I'm gonna dip in there and I'm gonna add some depth into the crease. I could see this being a beautiful blush. Ooh, especially on darker. Oh gosh, yes. I'm gonna place another order and put these in my kit because these are just bomb. And I've only been working with them for like what five minutes. I'm gonna go 
done with that first blender. I dropped it. So I'm just gonna take another one. Cause I do not feel like picking it up. Take another one, go back into volume two, and then go back into that coral color that we started off with. Towel. And I'm, okay. Nothing just when it goes my way today. I'm gonna go back into towel. And I'm just going to just blow it out. Just to tie all that orange together, okay? Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so now I definitely, definitely, definitely wear a set. I like have all my new products in front of me. And like beside me, I want to use this NYX Vivid Bright Liner in the color, it's really bright, it's in the color Cyber Pop. And it looks like this. I think this will be cute. So I'm going to find a very small brush. I think I just want to like, ooh, do like this fierce ass. Crease. I just want to try all the products, push them to the limit, you know. So I'm going to see if I can. First, I want to see how this performs. That's for one. Let's see if it performs well as a base for a cut crease. That's how that looks. It doesn't look bad, but up close, it's a little patchy. So, I'm going to try to set that down. Let's see if we can use this color here. This is like tangerine from Coastal Scents. And then let's mix with some flame by Morphe. So let's do this in the intercorner. Let's do like tangerine in the inner corner. So it's actually packing on pretty nice. over and then go into flame I don't feel like it's really taking on the light tangerine so we just might do flame all throughout I do want to do a wing liner. I'm not going to talk during this wing liner. Oh, my camera had cut off and I was doing the liner anyway, but this is the liner. So now, literally, like, let's get back in the space because, bitch, I'm excited. Like, this is kind of looking good and I wasn't expecting it to look that good. So I'm excited. I want to finish the rest of my face. So I'm just going to get rid of this excess powder and mind you I still didn't set my face so there's that I don't have any new powders or anything oh bitch a lot I got this um it's staring right at me I got this Laura Mercier translucent deep powder and girl I've been waiting to get my hands on this every time I look, every time I go look when I'm ready to purchase it. It's always sold the hell out. So, obviously I can't use it for baking because I'm 
not dark enough to bake with this and like set my highlighted areas with this but I can set my face with this even though I say I didn't need to set my face it's translucent so it doesn't add any more coverage because I definitely don't need that but it'll like help blend my highlighted areas Ooh, that kind of looks pretty just like I do with my if you watch my videos you know that I use the is it black opal or black radiance oh this I use the black opal deluxe finishing powder and this is like an oil control formula so I feel like these are kind of the same. If you can't get your hands on the Laura Mercier, definitely try the Black Opal because that's why I wasn't even like rushing to get my hands on it because I pretty much feel like they're the same. But that's me and what do I possibly know, right? And highlight, of course. I do want to use this to highlight, but these colors are a little too dark for me right now. Lord, I almost dropped it. And this, this will be a highlight for me. This is like a blush topper. See, it has some sheen to it, but I would use it as a highlight, obviously. Um, but this just doesn't go with the look right now. So, yeah, let me do under the eyes. I hope you guys aren't like, oh my God, bitch, this video is so long. I just wanted to come back and talk to you guys. And a lot of people on like social media have been, not social media, because I barely, barely get on Instagram anymore. I just hate the algorithm. Can we just talk about that for a second? Literally, like, why do they change the algorithm of Instagram? Like, what, what was the point of that? Honestly, like, I hate it so much that I barely use the app anymore. Like, barely, like, especially my personal account. Because if you guys don't know, I do a freelance, so I have a page. I have a makeup page, right? Wait, it's hard kind of talking and doing it at the same time. But yeah, I have a makeup page, and I barely, oh my God, like, I barely get on my personal page because of this new algorithm like I literally hate waking up when I do get on there I hate waking up and seeing like I lied to you not like this is not an exaggeration or anything I hate waking up and seeing somebody's pictures from six days ago me because I'm not so used to it my dumb ass goes in like the picture and it just looks like it looks like I'm lurking. It, I don't like that because I just don't like that. Like, why would I, you know? I don't like that, so I don't know. But what was I saying before that? I don't even remember because that just pissed me off. Like, I literally hate Instagram now. I like have to finesse my charger. I'm too lazy to go buy another one. Um. These are by Pure. First of all, look at that hollow. Mm -hmm. Hollow sexuals. If you want hollow sexual, we'll leave a comment down below. But these are in the color. These are in the style. Or these are in the style flirt. People always ask me about that too. They ask me like, how are you comfortable around your boyfriend? Oops, almost dropped the glue. Y'all, I'm always dropping something. But how are you comfortable around your boyfriend? Um wearing wigs and I don't know how that is a question because it's like if you're with someone like you should know because when we first started talking or dating or whatever the hell you want to call it like I thought I told him like look at times I'm a girly girl and I do makeup and therefore I like to wear a lot of makeup and he was totally fine with that um 
I had no problem taking my makeup off in front of him. But that's just me, period. Like, I don't give a frig who I'm around. Whether I know you or I don't know you. Or whatever the case may be. But, like I always say, you have to be confident in yourself. I honestly don't think it's about who you're around. You have to be confident in yourself. Because I don't care who I'm around. I will snatch my wig off. Well, I'll probably not snatch my wig off. It depends. <laughs> I will snatch my makeup off, though. Like, I will wipe my makeup off in a second. No matter who you are. Because it's like, it's makeup. Like, whatever. I probably would snatch my wig off, too. Because it's like, I know I have hair. And even if I did have hair, you can't make me feel guilty about not having hair. And that's probably one of the reasons why my boyfriend don't care. Even though... If I didn't have a lot of hair, he probably wouldn't care either because it's not even about your hair and your edges and your baby hair and stuff like that. Even though he's obsessed with my baby hairs, like my sovereigns and stuff, he's like obsessed. But he's also obsessed with my natural hair too. It like amazes him how curly it gets. So I have my lashes on. I was struggling, okay, because my eyes just won't let me live. So now we gotta find some highlighter that's gonna be cute with this look. I'm thinking like, uh, I don't know. I really don't wanna use something that I always use, but I feel like I'm going to anyway. I feel like I wanna use some Albatross, cause it's like goldish. Fun fact, this is the very first highlighter like I, ever bought like ever like i saved up that 30 dollars to buy this because this is when i first started really getting into makeup and albatross is like the highlighter to have and you were like a nobody if you didn't have it and i wanted to be somebody so i don't even think i want to highlight like that you know some looks just are cute with our highlighter, but I'm just gonna add a little bit. Girl, I really don't know what kind of lip goes with this because it's so dramatic. Um, just about to put some lip gloss on. Okay, so what do you guys think? This is what I came up with. These are the eyes. I'm kind of digging it. I ain't gonna lie. Yes, so I did this. And... I hope you guys liked this little chit chat. I know I didn't really talk a lot because I get caught up in doing my makeup. That's why I've been very hesitant on one of these because it's kind of hard. Unless like next time I'll probably ask you guys to send me some questions. Something of that sort. Because that's probably the only way I'll stay on track. Like my mind be all over the place. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, so you stay to the end of the video, which means you want to know how to enter to win one of these palettes. Can I hold it correctly? Okay. One of these palettes. These are the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette in Volume 1 and Volume 2. All you have to do is, have to do is be a subscriber. That's number one. You have to be a subscriber because this is for my subscribers. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have those down below. And leave a comment. You can have anything in the comment. Just make sure you leave your Instagram name, your Twitter name, and which one of these you would like to win. This is open to US residents only. I'm so sorry. I'll have a giveaway coming for international next time. But for my first giveaway, I just want to do US to see like kind of how it works out. 
And yeah, I'll be picking a winner. I'll give you guys. Hmm. Let's give you guys to the end of June. So let's do the end of June. So I'll give you guys a month. So the end of June, I will be picking a winner and I will be announcing it um, on Instagram and Twitter, of course. And I'll put it in the description box of this video. And yeah, so good luck you guys and thank you for supporting me.